today I'm coming to you from this tiny container home village located in Schuylerville, New York. This property is made up of four different 20 foot shipping container homes and it has some very unique features that we've never seen before on the channel. For example, they have their own restaurant, literally a 10 second walk away from this container home that I'm speaking to you from right now. It has some incredible seafood. These tiny homes, the dopest things you'll, you can ever stay in. We're also located right on the Hudson River. So these guys actually have their own marina. And you can also take out your own kayak or paddleboard right on the river. So this spot feels like the perfect summer Airbnb destination, in my opinion. Let's now hop straight into the full tour. to the Skylar Yacht Basin located in Schuylerville, New York. We're gonna focus mostly on their tiny shipping container homes seen here, but a little bit later in the video, I'll cover what else there is to do throughout this property. But there are four containers. They're all pretty identical, so we're only gonna tour one of the interiors. I ended up staying in the unit there on the far right-hand side. Let's now walk up these stairs to go and check out the interior. When you first enter, you'll come into your kitchen area. We'll take a quick peek around. Looking in this direction, you have the kitchen right in front of you, which I'll cover in more detail shortly, and then your bedroom there on the far side. This is a 20 foot shipping container, so it's about 150 square feet total, so definitely a tiny home. I'm gonna pull back this door to focus on this room first, and this takes us in to the bathroom. On this left side, you have a simple shower. They left behind some of the basics like your shampoo, conditioner, and body soap. Looking on this other end, you then have your toilet and your sink, along with a mirror and some artwork hanging there on the right wall. But that's it for the bathroom, so let's now pop back into the main room to cover the kitchen first. Into the kitchen, you have some more of those beautiful wooden cabinets that we saw in the bathroom, now also in this room. In addition, there is, I believe, a concrete countertop, and you can see that eye-catching door to the bathroom more in the background. The listing says this is all supposed to emulate the quaint agricultural community in the surrounding area, so this gave me a bit of a farmhouse vibe. For more on the kitchen itself and some additional details, you can see you have this large modern sink I can also grab this and this turns into more of like a little mini drying rack. So I thought it was a great space saver. Above the sink then you have two shelves which have some of your glasses and other basic kitchen supplies. On this other shelf on the left hand side, you can see some more plates and a large pot. You'll see down below there are a bunch of items on top of the counter, especially in this area, but I'll point this out very briefly. They actually left behind the menus for their restaurant, so I was rifling through this when I first arrived and I was getting hungry. More on their food options and drinks later. Beginning to wrap up now in the kitchen, if you want to get a little bit of cooking done during your stay, that is still an option because the host left behind this nice hot plate and this large pan if you want to maybe scramble up some eggs to get your day started. In terms of more morning remedies, you also have this nice coffee setup waiting for you on top of this cutting board. It comes with these two bright white coffee mugs and you also have a nice French press. In addition, they already have some coffee grounds waiting for you. And if you're more of a tea person than a coffee person, that is also an option along with this hot water heater. Last but not least, if we look down here, they managed to squeeze in this little fridge and freezer down beneath these cabinets. So you really have all of the major appliances you may need. Let's head further into the container home now, more into your bedroom area. If you look along this wall, you have some bright blue artwork and your air conditioning, which was very much needed. I visited in July and it was pretty hot out. This is now your queen size mattress. I thought the covers and the pillows continue to follow that quaint farmhouse style we've been seeing. 
all the way at the end of the container, you have a large sliding glass door. You can pull these curtains across it for some added privacy. If you look up, you can see more of the beautiful wood paneling that makes up the ceiling. And this bed was actually pretty sizable. I was surprised they managed to fit it inside this 20 foot shipping container home because you really don't have a ton of space in here to be honest. But I'm now gonna push back the curtains again. And we're gonna walk in this direction because it's time to head out briefly into our outdoor deck space. Coming out now onto the deck, there are two main things to point out. On the right side, you have your little sitting area and then your grill, of course, everything is bright red and really stands out. This is just the perfect spot to have a nice summer barbecue. You also have all of your basic barbecue supplies for the grill and you can just waltz over here with a nice little beer and hang out with your significant other. This is just a great spot to escape for a long weekend over the summer. I'll definitely point this out as well. We have some beautiful cedar siding on this part of the exterior, and they actually left all of the doors on to these containers, so you can close up shop during the off season or if there's any bad weather coming. It just really makes you feel like you're staying inside of a container. I'll now shift our focus to elsewhere on the property. Again, this river in the marina is just a 30 second walk from the containers and you can take out either a kayak or a stand up paddleboard on this river. This is the Hudson River. If you're not familiar, it's one of the largest rivers on the East Coast. This is just a nice and relaxing activity to do. I did this right around sunset and definitely adds to the overall nautical and summer theme that we've seen here throughout this video. I'll now take the drone and zoom out a bit to get more of a bird's eye view of the property. I especially love this little island in the middle of the river and the town of Schuylerville is right down the road. I was pleasantly surprised by all the little shops and restaurants and this area is pretty historical as the Battle of Saratoga during the American Revolution took place near here which is considered the turning point of the war. Last but not least, let's go and check out the restaurant, which is called the Basin Grill. These guys definitely specialize in their seafood. You can see from this drone shot, we are right next to the marina office and it runs along the river and they have a bunch of great outdoor seating options. I just took all this footage more around sunrise because I did not want to disturb people while they were eating, but I promise it was packed and they have a lot of amazing food, everything from lobster rolls to tacos. I also had some cocktails. And lastly, I also found the waiting staff and everybody there to be incredibly friendly. I'm shooting, just say hi to the channel. Hey, hey. Listen, <laughs> these tiny homes, the dopest things you'll, you can ever stay in, seriously. <laughs> Check them out. Thanks so much for watching guys. You can find the Airbnb booking link down below and my container home playlist. And I'll see you all very soon for a brand new Airbnb tour.